Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Evolva Future Technology Professional Scuba Diving Flashlight uh, and Diving Torch product review. Uh, it features an XM uh, L, an XML2 uh, T6 or a Cree XML2 T6 uh, LED, uh, and it is an LED diving flashlight that is waterproof. I have a bucket of water over here. Uh, I have tested it extensively. I used it, okay, maybe not extensively. I've used uh, this one and another Evolva product for over two hours during my canoe trip. Uh, just to note, I did not take it scuba diving. I just took it snorkeling because uh, that's what I was doing. Uh, however, it worked fantastically. Uh, everything was as expected. Um, I did scratch it up a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you can see a few scratches from me dropping it. And I also scratched this interior using uh, some keys in my pocket and things like that since I carried it around. But uh, it held up very well. Uh, the fact that I dropped it more than once and it really, you really can't see the scratches on camera. I've already looked, uh, but they, I promise they exist. Uh, means that, you know, it's, it's taken at least some beating. It's went underwater to, I don't know, maybe at the deepest eight feet, but I would say at an average of say, you know, three or four foot deep, it's kind of like a river. So it's not that deep, but overall, uh, it went fantastically. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about what's in the box. You saw I had it already open there. So essentially you've seen, I've already opened it cause I've already used it. Uh, but it was pretty much shipped to me two flashlights uh, and a standard Amazon Prime box. There's a skew on the outside. There's a little safety guard on the outside, which wasn't broken when I got it. But of course, I broke it when I opened it. You open up and on the very top is this instruction manual. Uh, so we have the instruction manual. I mean, it is a flashlight. Uh, yes, it's waterproof. Yes, it has a neat switch. Yes, you can charge it through USB. But at the same time, uh, it just kind of goes over the same stuff you already know. XML2 uh, version 2, it's a T6 uh, style LED, uh, three mode system with strobe and the dimensions, the weight, it's waterproof up to 100 meters. I did not test that. Uh, it says free for all drop test height, 1.5 meters. Uh, I dropped it from, uh, I'm six feet tall, I dropped it from about halfway, it's four feet, so about 1.2 meters. So uh, it passed the 1.2 meter uh, drop fall test uh, multiple times. Uh, so I have no reason 1.5 meters is, um, you know, unacceptable. Uh, smart automatic switch mode. Uh, the battery type is one thing I'm unable to test. I don't have any 26650 batteries. Uh, inside it includes a 18650, uh, which of course is meant to use with the flashlight. However, it has some type of management system where you can also use a 26650. I didn't test that, but I just have to assume it's true. Uh, and it tells you the power source difference, uh, you know, some of the design, how to change the battery. It's pretty easy. How to charge the battery, but it doesn't tell you you can charge through USB. Uh, so, or actually, it doesn't mention that it's power. This is charged through USB. Uh, so you can see here that you have two different things there. Uh, you essentially, what you do is just plug this into your standard. Uh, computer or whatever. I didn't even need this cord because I have so many. Uh, but you essentially just plug this. I used a cell phone charger. I actually just plugged it in right to my Samsung S6 uh, phone charger uh, and it worked fine. I imagine you could use a PC or anything like that. However, just as a warning, if you use a PC to charge it, it will be a little bit slower than if you use a phone charger. So I'm going to recommend a phone charger uh, just because uh, you know I'm impatient. Uh, but essentially that is the battery charger. Well, let's go ahead and whip out the flashlight. You can see that it's really easy uh, to change the battery here. Uh, one thing you need to be sure of is with this and pretty much any other watertight flashlight is that you make sure that you need to take care of these O-rings. Uh, over time they can dry out and things like that so you just want to keep a little bit of lithium grease uh, or just anything that won't eat the silicone rings. Uh, there is a few lubricants that will eat away at the silicone so just be careful with what you put on there. Uh, but like if you have some silicone spray, uh, white lithium grease, all that stuff, anything that you put say in a car uh, on rubber o-ring should be fine uh, theoretically of course if you have any questions you can always email me I'll do my best to answer your questions honestly okay so this is a 18650 battery of course I have a lot of these but people at home might not uh, but it does come with one so that is a big deal um, so essentially you just slide it in just like an old school battery charger oops if you can do it uh, once you have it in there uh, just basically take that. You can tell that it's slightly charged. Uh, if you stop messing with it here, apparently I'm having some problems. Uh, but essentially you can see it there uh, that this blue USB port lights up to tell you that the uh, the battery is at least has some juice. Uh, but you just basically plug that right into the USB port. Pretty simple operation. Let it get charging. Uh, once you're done charging, you're just going to slide it in here. There's only uh, You can put it two ways. Uh, but if you put it the wrong direction, it simply doesn't work. It has some type of protective... Uh, 
electronic circuitry that says if you put it in backwards, it won't damage the flashlight. Uh, I don't know, you know, if that's really that special uh, because most flashlights I've ever used, uh, if you put it in backwards, it just doesn't work. But hey, maybe it's a feature I wasn't aware of. Uh, but we turn it on there, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the lights off here. Uh, and this room isn't totally dark. Uh, but it's dark enough to get the point of the flashlight. We'll go ahead and move this and let's go ahead and scoot this back here uh, And you can kind of see the brightness. It's it's really impressively bright. Uh, it does have multiple modes here Okay, so basically you just hit this button once to turn it on and off uh, pretty simple hit the button turn on hit the button turn off uh, But one of the things you might not realize is if you hold it for a full second it will change modes uh, And actually you just hold this for a second. So that is low that is medium and then this is strobe. Uh, so, you know, I didn't really need a use for the strobe feature. I wanted it in the brightest because I'm underwater snorkeling and I'm just kind of checking things out. And, you know, uh, there's nothing really special where I was snorkeling at, just playing with, you know, the standard crawdads and rocks and, and looking at things like that. Uh, but it was very handy. It worked very well. You can see it's off now. Uh, or that's a different strobe pattern. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And then once again, that's low. And then that's high. And then we can go to strobe. But overall, you can see it's extremely bright. Uh, the X, the XML2 U2, uh, it's the new version from Cree. Uh, it's listed as having a maximum lumens output is 1065. However, the listing on the Amazon listing and the store that sent it to me was called Evolva Future Technology on Amazon. Uh, that's who sent this to me for the review. Uh, and when they supplied it, uh, their listing says uh, 900 lumens, so they obviously underrate it. Uh, it may be because, you know, they're using the 1865 bat zero battery. Uh, they may be calculating for other things we don't understand, uh, or that I don't understand, I guess not you. Uh, but And then, then once again, we have the brightest. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that on. Uh, another really neat thing about this is you'll notice this. Uh, let me go ahead and turn it off. I don't want it to mess it with. I don't, I don't want it to mess with my uh, camera. Uh, so one thing is my other diving flashlights just have a standard lanyard that's just a rope like this. Uh, which is isn't bad. I mean, I never really realized how uncomfortable it was. Well, okay, I guess after long periods, I did realize that I would get this little rash uh, on my wrist. It wasn't extremely painful. It was just uh, it kind of looked yucky and it was mildly mildly irritating. Uh, but really, something you really wouldn't think about, and you're just like, oh, I can totally live with that. Uh, until you get one of these uh, these rubber coat lanterns. You can see here, it perfectly fits around my wrist, and I actually have a large wrist. Uh, and what that does is that makes it a lot more comfortable. So when I'm walking around. Uh, after, you know, because generally I get out of the water, I leave it attached to me, and that water in combination with the rubbing kind of irritates my skin. Uh, this plastic or neoprene or rubber, no, it's a rubber or neoprene sleeve, makes it much more comfortable to wear around your wrist for long periods. Uh, so I definitely appreciated that, but not until I actually got to use it. It just kind of looked like an ad, you know add-on until you use it and you realize how much comfort it adds uh, to the actual flashlight and of course you can lock it down to make sure you don't lose it. Uh, that's actually quite important when you're underneath the water you don't have to worry about tucking things in your pocket or especially losing, losing things. Uh, I really like this flashlight this is something I want to keep a hold of uh, so something I definitely don't want to lose. Uh, you can see here uh, this flashlight something was wrapped in plastic I can't remember what is either the flashlight or this stuff uh, but when I took it out before the canoe trip just to test it out I didn't remember what the plastic was on, so I promised that plastic was there. I wrapped something, I just don't know what. Uh, in addition, like I was telling you earlier, that if you don't take proper care of those O-rings, uh, you see how bendable and how flexible these are? That's required for an O-ring to properly operate. Uh, so if you wait a long time, you don't keep them greased, you maybe leave them in a hot car for a year or something like that, they're going to get brittle. And they're not going to bend as well. They're not going to be as supple. Uh, and that reduces your, um, you know, the water resistance of the flashlight. So just be sure and take care of your O-rings. But if you don't, they include two extras. How convenient. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put all this, uh, the USB cord, uh, the USB charger, uh, back in the box and go ahead and talk about that. Oh man, we already talked about that. Uh, but so this is the switch. You might not have been able to see it, uh, when I was playing with it earlier. Let me go ahead and, uh, zoom in here, see if I can't get some focus on the switch. See, it's not your standard switch. It's not just like a push button. It's actually a slide switch, uh, which... 
you know, it's not like, oh my God, I hate push buttons. But at the same time, after using that, you're like, hey, that is a much better switch than a standard push button uh, in which you're pushing while you're swimming and you're distracted. Uh, that's just a lot more convenient to turn on and off. You can see I can do it quicker. I don't have to push on anything. Uh, so really, I would consider that a minor upgrade uh, according to other flashlights. But I love upgrades. I don't care if they're minor or not. Uh, but overall, it's a very solid flashlight. You can see the Cree here too. I'm going to blind you. Ah! Okay, now we got that done and we're camera's adjusting. Uh, but you can see the XM L2 T6 version 2 uh, LED right down in there. And you can see this twist ring. You can actually get a tool in there and spin it out. It's a star shaped tool. Uh, or actually, if you really have something really wide, you can just shove it in there and open it. And that's how you actually get to the uh, LED if you ever need to change it. Uh, the bright side of that, however, is that they last. Uh, 50,000 hours easily. LED lights last so much longer than bulbs and that's why you see most flashlights switching over to the LEDs. They're more power efficient, they last longer, uh, in the long run they're cheaper, uh, and they just have so many advantages. So if you're getting a flashlight, definitely, and even if you don't get this one, uh, be sure and you get an LED flashlight. It'll just be better for you in the long run. Uh, it's got a smooth uh, I don't, it's got a smooth outside cover. I mean, it's very comfortable to grip, so we like that. And you can see how big it is. I have rather large hands, so that may not be the best idea, uh, you know, to use my hands. Uh, but it's perfectly sized for your hand. It fits perfectly on your wrist. Uh, definitely a solid diving flashlight. And you can feel it does have a little bit of heft. I guess it's, uh, it weighs about 125, 130 grams uh, with the battery in it, uh, which isn't very heavy. Uh, but heavy enough where when I'm holding it, I can, you, you know, you can tell it's just not some cheap run-of-the-mill plastic flashlight. It's got some heft to it. Uh, it has a nice solid feel. Uh, but overall, I had a lot of, um, you know, I guess I had some fun testing this out. It was a lot of fun. Uh, it works fine in the water. And, you know, at Gadget Guide at USA, we don't just say you have to take my word for it. We actually... Uh, test it out and you can see I have this water bucket here. Uh, we have it nice and bright on the maximum setting. Uh, one thing I was I made sure to, well of course the flashlight's going to turn off. I made sure that I personally greased these. Um, they might have came greased, I'm not sure. They could have come greased, but either way I'm going to suggest greasing them. Uh, and that's just for the longevity of your uh, O-rings. If you don't grease them, eventually they get dry and brittle, uh, and then as you start screwing on the lid, they'll get sucked up into the threadings. But that only happens if you don't take care of your O-rings. A little spot of grease makes it really easy. You can get it for like 99 cents or $1.99 for a small package of AutoZone uh, if you don't want to buy a whole thing of grease. Alright, so now back to the test that's on bright, and it's in there. I already knew it worked because uh, I've already played with it and I've already tested it, uh, but we know it's bright, we know it works. Uh, and there we go. So, what is causing that? Okay, maybe I don't have it tight enough. Okay, either way, we know it works. I've already played with it, but like I said, at Gadget Guide USA, you don't take my word for it. I actually show you that it works as much as I possibly can. But overall, uh, definitely a very solid product. I definitely enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Evolva Future Technology Professional Scuba Diving Flashlight and Diving Torch uh, featuring the XML2 version 2 T6 Cree LED. Uh, overall, exactly what you'd expect out of a diving torch. Uh, professionally built, nice heft to it, works well. Hope you enjoyed it. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you ever have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.